Six abandoned projects in Ghana, which are just unbelievable. Unfinished infrastructure projects are common in many developing countries. Infrastructure is a top priority for governments, citizens, and funders alike due to its critical role in achieving social and economic development. As a result, seeing vital infrastructure development projects abandoned in the middle of construction is both irritating and perplexing. Ghana is a lovely West African country with abundant resources that is also peaceful and has beautiful structures. As you may be aware, Ghana has an extraordinary visionary of completed and ongoing projects, but this is something that the majority of people do not see. It is a sad reality that wonderful projects and structures are abandoned for a variety of reasons. Approximately one-third of all projects that begin never finish, accounting for nearly 20% of all local government capital expenditure. This startling prevalence begs the question, how serious is non-completion in comparison to other aspects of the political economy of public service delivery? While exact figures are difficult to obtain, this estimate of fiscal waste due to non-completion is comparable to Alkin's 2007 Estimate of resource loss due to corruption in road construction, 24%, and Finan and Mazako's 2016. Estimate of the percentage of public expenditure that is misallocated due to politically motivated distortions, 26%. Hello and welcome to Africa Reloaded. Let's take a look at this video to see some of the projects that, if completed, would have been game changers for Ghana. <music> Six, Ghana's SkyTrain project. According to Minister of Railway Development John Peter Amu, who announced the news in a road interview, the project will not proceed due to financial concerns. Right now, it's not possible. I don't believe a SkyTrain will be built in the next three to four years. The country will not have SkyTrain service. It's not imaginable, he said emphatically. Railroad construction takes a long time and a lot of money. A kilometer of railway line costs roughly four to five times as much as a kilometer of concrete infrastructure when it comes to developing an asphaltic road. The SkyTrain project aimed to develop a fully automated and highly efficient public transportation system powered by air propulsion technology and lightweight, high-capacity cars. The project was expected to cost $2.6 billion. The proposed network would include five routes, four of which would be radial lines beginning at the Kwame Krumah interchange and one looping around the city. There are currently no plans to continue the project, according to the administration. Five, the Ho Youth Center project. Cattle have been allowed to graze on the site of a $2.4 million multi-purpose youth sports center project that began in March 2018. On a regular basis, members of the public visit the site to collect fuel wood from the shrubbery behind the unfinished spectator stands and other structures. Mr. Benjamin Poto, Member of Parliament for Ho Central, paid a visit to the project site to see firsthand the project's stalemate. The 10,000-seater project was overseen by Wakato Construction, a local contractor, and was scheduled to be completed in February 2019 under the National Youth Authority NYA. There would be a FIFA standard football pitch, an eight-lane athletics track, a tennis court, a basketball court, a handball court, a gymnasium, a counseling center, a youth ICT center, an entrepreneurial center, and a restaurant. Mr. Yao Semord, the NYA's regional director, declined to comment on the facility's condition when approached. The facility's goal was to provide a safe environment for children to practice their skills. However, the location is now home to discarded construction equipment, weeds, and raptors. Four, the Afari Military Hospital worth $38 million. Ultra-modern oxygen cylinders and medical equipment worth over 38 million U.S. dollars have been left to rust at the abandoned Afari Military Hospital in the Ashanti region. According to media reports, the hospital will have 500 beds and is scheduled to open in December 2018. However, the anticipation was not met. 
In response to a question about the project's delay, Dominic Nittywall, the then Minister Designate for Defense, informed the Appointments Committee in February 2021 that work on the main facility was almost finished. Captain Smart, the host of Anwa Makai, revealed that some of the equipment will be used at the Children's Hospital, including magnetic resonance imaging, MRI machines. Other items include air conditioners, generators, pipes, cable, window glasses, louvers, concrete mixing machines, burglar proofs, tiles, building stones, and sand piles. Anua TV aired exclusive footage of medical equipment and devices on the hospital grounds being battered by the elements. Kwame Krume University of Science and Technology KNUST, Teaching Hospital Project Authorities at Kwame Krume University of Science and Technologies KNUST, School of Veterinary Medicine have renewed their call for the government to help finish construction on the abandoned KNUST Veterinary Teaching Hospital. Work on the project has been stalled for the past five years, with instructors lamenting how the situation is affecting academic work quality. Administrators at KNUST believe that completing the abandoned the Veterinary Teaching Hospital project will transform the school into a veterinary training powerhouse for not only Ghana, but all of West Africa. The prototype for this structure can be found at South Africa's Anders Tepport University of Veterinary Medicine. When finished, this structure will be the first of its kind in West Africa. Professor Benjamin Enigpe, Dean of K in UST School of Veterinary Medicine, stated that this will be the largest structure ever constructed among West Africa's 16 veterinary schools. The location of the Ashanti region is intended to attract veterinary students from other West African countries, such as Ethiopia, Tanzania, Mali, Burkina Faso, and others, demonstrating that we are capable of providing veterinary medicine education. As a result, he's pleading with the government to help him finish the project as soon as possible. Two. Paloma Beach Resort The Paloma Beach Resort in Takarati, if completed, would have been a watershed moment for Ghana's hospitality industry. It was supposed to be completed in 32 months, but it has remained a white elephant since then. The beach house was supposed to bring in a lot of money for the tourist industry as well as a lot of money for the country. Failure to complete the project resulted in ruins. 1. The Sagalmi Ghana Housing Project This abandoned construction project can be found in Pram Pram, Ghana, along the Aflower Road in the Ningo Pram Pram neighborhood. This project began 10 years ago, in 2012, and is still unfinished. This abandoned housing project is possibly Ghana's most well-known, since it was Ghana Fume that pioneered public outreach in April 2021, when the public realized they had reached out to an incredible initiative. This project was supposed to be a 5,000 residential unit project with over 1,500 flats to help Ghana with its housing deficit. It sits on 300 acres of land and has one to three bedroom flats for low-income earners, the majority of whom are Ghanaian. This project squandered $200 million in Ghanaian tax dollars. Despite the fact that it was completed but never used, the government abandoned it and left it routed. As taxpayers, we expect the government to complete projects that will help the country's economy and bring long-term development. It is disheartening to see abandoned projects that eventually end up as ruins due to a lack of funds or misappropriation and embezzlement. We haven't seen these abandoned projects, so we feel compelled to demand that something be done to salvage the situation so that the country and its citizens can benefit from them. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel for future updates.